नान हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी आई एम मिस्टर परेश मोडा वेलकम टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ एक्टिव लर्निंग वीडियो लेक्चर कम्युनिकेशन सीरीज ऑन टुडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस हाउ द इलेक्ट्रिकल वायरिंग इज एक्चुअली डन सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू इज द इलेक्ट्रिकल वायरिंग सिस्टम देन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शूड अंडरस्टैंड देन विच आर दी कनेक्टर्स विच आर दी स्पीड्स विच आर दी अदर सिस्टम्स देट आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर डूइंग दी इलेक्ट्रिकल वायरिंग सिस्टम ऑल ऑफ यू माइट हैव डन दी इलेक्ट्रिकल वायरिंग एट योर होम एट योर कॉलेज लेबोरेटरी और एट दी स्कूल लेवल ऑल्सो दैट इज सिंपल विच एवर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स यू आर डूइंग और विच एवर सर्किट्स यू आर कनेक्टिंग यू आर यू डूइंग दी वायरिंग सिस्टम लेट एस टेक दी एग्जाम्पल एट योर होम एट योर होम यू आर यूजिंग दी स्टेर केस वायरिंग ट्यूबलाइट वायरिंग और यू मे बी यूजिंग ए टेबल लैम्प फॉर द रीडिंग पर्पज राइट सो the wiring system is very much important as a part of electrical engineering the wiring systems are basically three types first one is the domestic wiring second one is the uh, commercial wiring and third one is the industrial wiring on today's session we will uh, see some of the wiring systems in brief and we will see how to control the uh, electrical equipments with the proper wiring system so there are certain guidelines that are prepared by the international standards we have to keep these standards and some guidelines in our mind in order to do, do the electrical wiring system so in this chapter we will see the content relevant to the electrical wiring system let us uh, see the content uh, of this chapter <coughs> the topics uh, to be covered in this chapter are connectors and switches types of wiring system domestic wiring installation sub circuit in domestic wiring and simple control circuit in the domestic wiring system and at last we will see the industrial electrification in the electrical wiring system so in the introduction session we will see that a network of wire that connecting various accessories for the distribution of electrical energy from the supply meter to the numerous electric energy consuming device like lamp fan refrigerator tv through the controlling and safety device is known as the electrical wiring system so this one is the basic definition of the electrical wiring system there are certain guidelines or the rules for the domestical electrical wiring system the first rule is that the energy meter that is measuring energy how much energy you are using at your home and the main switch board must be installed near each other the second guideline or the rule is that the place of energy meter should be easily accessible and protected from the rain and the mechanical damage it should not be on the open area right otherwise what will happen that the rain uh, may come uh, so at that time the energy meter may get damage right so this one these are the two guidelines the third guideline is that all the wires and cable that you are using for the electrical wiring system should be as per the load requirement and the standard that is electrical standards are used it has to be satisfied the wire used in the bathroom should be waterproof or if suppose you are doing the electrical wiring system in the terrace then also you have to use the pvc cables every sub circuit should be start from the main distribution board only there should be circuit breaker or the fuse type that should be link switch provided on each live conductor of the supply mains nowadays uh, the fuses are replaced by the miniature circuit breakers so cb is nothing but the miniature circuit breaker or in other word you can say that it is a mcb right so the location of the main switch board should be such that it is easily accessible to the fireman and the person who can quickly disconnect the supply in case of emergency or in case of any uh, accident that is occur so that the main switch board can be disconnected so these are the main guidelines now in order to do the wiring system first we should make a wiring diagram so in order to make a wiring diagram we should uh, first uh, study about the different symbols you might have seen the symbol that first symbol is what first symbol is that uh, 
wire that is insulated or the uh, main conductor second one is the wires that are joining but not uh, connected the third symbol is the wires that are crossed the fourth one is battery and likewise these are the different symbols uh, of the different switches right this one is the symbol of switch now the wiring diagram uh, let us take the wiring diagram so let us take this one is a wiring diagram right so uh, how to analyze this winding diagram wi wiring diagram so wiring diagram if you want to analyze then wiring diagram are having a schematic or using use a symbolic language that means some of the symbols you have to keep in your mind understand the symbol and the diagram will talk to you what it can tell you is how and where to test the system you have to listen the wiring diagram actually so wiring diagram explains explains how a circuit is actually works all the electrical circuits need power that is positive voltage Con uh, conductors controls and loads right so in order to do the wiring diagram you have to understand how a circuit works you must trace the power flow through the conductors controls and the loads so power at the top the positive voltage is often called the power right positive voltage usually origins in the top and left side of the diagram so whenever you are tracing any electrical wiring diagram see if you want to make any electrical wiring system then first of all you should make a wiring diagram right so from the wiring wiring diagram you can say that the positive voltage is uh, generally originates at the left side of the diagram while the uh, ground is usually found at the bottom and right side of the diagram let us take one diagram and see see here in this diagram uh, you, you don't have to uh, zoom the uh, image you have to just see that the power that is positive voltage is at the top and the ground wire is at the negative voltage right okay now in this diagram suppose the motor this one is a simple electrical wiring diagram that is not uh, as far concern in your exam session right so here you can suppose you want to know how many volts are there nearby this motor how many volts are there or nearby this motor you want to know how many volts are there so if you know the symbolic representation or the wiring diagram properly then you can without uh, using the equipment you can measure that how much how, how many volts will be there in the motor right now understand the symbol that is the thumb rule of the wiring electrical wiring so wiring diagram contains a lots of information pay attention to the little details and you will be able to know that how the electrical wiring is to be done right so this one is the another wiring diagram in which the wires cross with the no electrical contact here in this diagram you can say that the wire cross with the selected scribe will have the electrical contact right so this is the basic difference so from this wiring diagram from the wire you can see that this wire is connected or not right well, let us take the another wiring diagram in this wiring diagram you can see that uh, some dotted line are there so what does this dash or the dotted line mean you know the different symbol right you might not be able to see the symbol right now in your screen but uh, here my point is to explain is that this dash line what is this dash line indicate in the electrical wiring system so this dash line or the dotted line can indicate that there are other devices not shown in the picture for example to keep the diagram simple the other electrical components are not shown that is here a dash line are shown so the schematic says that 40 ampere fuse is in the fuse or the relay box the fuse should always have power to it the dotted line means there are other items in this fuse or the relay box also now let us take the another sim sample of the wiring diagram here you might be able to see the engine component or the fuse relay box has the other wire or fuse etc if i wanted to test the blower fuse i would not be surprised to find the other fuse in the box because this dotted line 
by uh, seeing this dotted line i can easily see understand that there will be a another fuse is kept in the system also the entire blower motor switch is shown in the schematic system so to find the switch i would look for a switch with the four wires only okay what does this more dashed line indicate a dash over the dotted line can mean that there is a more than that is not shown on the page or there are other wires hooked to the circuit but not shown in the diagram the dash line also say that what control a switch a dash over the dotted line can mean that there is more than shown on the page let us take this diagram again so this dash box means that the entire turn or the hazard switch is not shown for example here some contacts that is terminal pin a1 11 to a17 are shown but not pin a1 to a10 you can see that remaining pins are not shown so these pins are marked with the dotted line or this dashed line so dashed line can indicate uh, there are other wires common to the circuit but not shown in the diagram okay uh, this uh, supplies as the five wires in common this supplies as the other wires in parallel that are not shown in the diagram this dotted line means there are other circuit that is sharing this ground so a dash line indicates that switch are link this line purpose is that it can also say that uh, which are the switch that are link see here <coughs> a parking lamps and the hand lamps are shown with the dotted line or the dash line so what is the meaning of this dash line so here you can see that uh, this switch is connected with the uh, parking lamps and the hand lamps so the parking lamp and the hand lamp switch are gang you can say so together and indicated by the dash line now suppose i want to operate the parking lamps so what i should do i will just operate this switch and you can see that the contacts are now connected to the parking lamps earlier they were not connected right they were disc or in off position now they are in on position right and in the third uh, the hand lamps are also connected right so this way the other switch inside the hand lamp switch will operate the it will operate independently this switch inside the hand lamp will operate independently some of the switches may be uh, used in the dash line when the coil is turned on this switch off will be move what does this t indicate if suppose you are drawing a wiring diagram and somewhere the t is mentioned so what do you mean by this t this switch is moved by the temperature right so it is uh, uh, shown by the dash line now we are in this switch a capital p is written and some dash line are shown so what do you mean by this dash line or the dotted line simple that this switch will be operated by the proper pressure or this switch will move by the pressure so this dash line can be used to represent the electrical wiring diagram so this one is the general discussion about the electrical wiring diagram so now suppose uh, we want to do a electrical wiring system at our home or at our the industry then which are the component that we will need so basically uh, if we want to do the electrical wiring then first of all we should make the electrical wiring diagram after preparing the electrical wiring diagram we have to purchase those component so which are the components that are used in the electrical wiring system and which are the different kind of switches which are the different control devices that are used in the electrical wiring systems and uh, which are the devices that are measuring the how much is the energy uh, that is consumed so this all equipments are concerned with the electrical wiring system so now in the 
in the next session uh, in this session we will see that how the connectors or which are the different types of switches are used to do the electrical wiring system so the connectors and the switches are are like there are five types of switches that are used in the electrical wiring system first type is the toggle switch you might have seen the toggle switch have you seen see the toggle switch are nowadays obsolete but in some small applications like table lamp like uh, the uh, adapter or some small applications that toggle switch is used you might have seen the push button right where you have seen the push buttons the push buttons are generally used in the electrical doorbell whenever you are pressing the doorbell at that time this circuit will be completed and the doorbell will ring when you remove the push button switch the circuit will be disconnected and the uh, switch will be off you might have seen the rotary switch have you seen the rotary switch see this rotary switch were shown or used in the old tv or in the oscilloscope where by rotating the switch your uh, uh, operation can be done you might have seen the slide switch slide switch is similar to the rotary switch but in this slide switch you are having a slider or a lever through the lever you can change the operation and last one is the, is the mercury switch so these are the various types of switch that are used in the electrical wiring system all these switches are having different symbols so whenever you are drawing the electrical wiring diagram you should keep this thing in your mind that which symbol you are drawing as per the your drawing your connection will be done or the electrical wiring will be done right so let us see the switches in detail so the first switch is the toggle switch so this